What's going on? This is Alan at MindVisionMedia.net again and just a really quick tutorial. I get a lot of questions asking how to add an image to the featured content area on the responsive WordPress theme which is this area right here. Uh, in, in my tutorials I show how to add all types of content over here from slideshows to embedded YouTube videos and Google Ads and all that kinds of good stuff but not a basic image. So what you want to do is you want to go to your appearance theme options section click on home page which will bring up your featured content options and here's the code for all that stuff that I have on my responsive theme home page and what you want to do is if you have content there already or videos, what have you. Um, you want to remove that and replace that with an image code. Okay, so I'm going to remove that. And this is the actual code right here for, for the default image. And we're just going to use that code as the basis. I'm going to go ahead and paste in my original content code so I can put that back after this tutorial but you want to go ahead and copy this code which is available for my members at my website myvisionmedia.net you have to sign up for my newsletter of course but um, this code is available there or you can pause the video and just write this code out in a text editor like notepad or notepad plus plus and save it for later there will be other times when you need to embed image code. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. Copy that. And paste that in. Alright, go ahead and save that. And refresh. Okay, and there's a static image. The recommended dimensions for this image in this featured content area right here is 440 by 300. So if you have a custom image, you want to go ahead and make it 440 by 440 wide by 300 high or tall. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is just replace this image name right here or the entire URL actually um, because this is linking to the default image which is actually located um, at theme ID okay so you want to replace that URL with your own UR, image URL and uh, that's in between these quote signs right here so once you put your own image URL in there and save and refresh and you'll be all good to go and the way you can find that image URL um, one way to find it go to your media library and you should have already uploaded your image if not do so click on edit And right over here, in the edit media window to the right, is the image URL for that particular image. Okay, so it has the address that you want already. So copy that and replace the other code in the or the URL. I'm sorry, in the code with your own. So theme options. And right here. You want to just put your image URL in there. Okay. And don't forget to save and refresh. And you'll be all good to go. And you will have a static image. Alright, so once again just a quick tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and put my content back there, which I have a 
combination of an MP3 player. I have a, an embedded uh, YouTube video. And I also have a Google ad which is located in a custom sidebar. And I'm using a short code to display that. Alright, so if you want to learn about that stuff, watch my video tutorials on my YouTube channel. Alright, so I'm going to replace that uh, image code with my content. And like I said in the beginning, this is just a quick short tutorial. I get a lot of questions about that because I show how to put everything else there except for just a static image. Alright, so there you go. I'm back in biz. So I replaced that static image and went back to my multi-dynamic featured content. Alright, so I hope that cleared things up really quick. Once again, that code is available on my members download page. Um, you can sign up for my newsletter and get that code. Or of course, you can, you can search online and find you know an image embed code if you'd like, or just get it from my site. Or as I mentioned earlier, you can pause the video and write that code out in a text file and save it for later. It'll be good practice for you. Alrighty. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at mindvisionmedia.net. And uh, here, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and put that code up again and get rid of my content. And again, this is the code. Go ahead and pause the video, write it out, and replace the image URL with your own. Alright, and if you're making custom images for that featured content area, be sure to make them 440 by 300. Alright, so I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, contact me at mindvisionmedia.net. Thanks for tuning in to my WordPress, I'm sorry, my YouTube channel. <laughs> Boy, I got WordPress on the brain. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, and uh, leave me some comments, and again, if you need help, just contact me via my website. Alrighty, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.